Another question is about Kwanzaa. This, this is a ceremony which is being held in the African American community. And those who understand our community know this ceremony was actually um, uh, made by um, Dr. Kar Karinga, right? I don't want to say Maulana. I mean, I don't know how he got this name, Maulana. But anyhow, I mean, Dr. Karinga, Ron Karinga. And those of us who lived in the 60s know him as um, a pork chop nationalist, um, you know, who was involved in a form of nationalism. And he had his organization. And um, those of us who were involved in the struggle, there were some funny things went on in California. Actually, with Bunchy Kata, if you know what happened with the Panther Party, there was some funny stuff that went on during that time. So, I mean, even to follow his leadership, even in the community itself, many people in the 60s would not follow the leadership of Ron Karinga. Secondly, Kwanzaa is just a thought. He just brought his thoughts together. And he said, well, we will, we will mix together. We'll make the lights. And we, we, each day we will do a certain thing. And he just you know, thought up some good principles. And, and he made a ceremony about it. So it's, it's not a religion. And, and, and it's nothing that we should even have to do or feel that we have to do. Because it's not, it's not African either, by the way. There's no part of Africa they celebrate Kwanzaa. So it's only following uh, Ron Karinga. You know, when you're doing Kwanzaa. So as a Muslim, we definitely would not be involved in anything to do with Kwanzaa. And, we, we, you know, we, we have better things to do. And we should give Ron Karinga dawah. And inshallah, he should accept Islam.